Both copper and equities tend to correlate positively with the economy, but they measure different aspects of the economy. And there's been a notable divergence between the two of them since the pandemic began. Both of them plunged in February and March 2020 at the onset of the pandemic, and both of them subsequently soared to new record highs. But since the beginning of the pandemic, copper is up by 70%, whereas the S&P 500 is up only 30%. The truth is that copper is a great indicator of the industrial aspect of the global economy, whereas the equity market responds to a different set of concerns. It's essentially a discounting machine that discounts the value of future earnings back into present value, which makes it very sensitive to long-term interest rates, for example. If you look back in history, the copper to equity ratio has varied a great deal over time. In the late 1970s inflation, copper did much better. Then during the 1980s and 1990s disinflation, equity markets vastly outperformed. Then with the rise of China in the first decade of the new century, copper outperformed between 2000 and 2011, only to see equities outperform between 2011 and early 2020 in amid low interest rates and a slowdown in industrial growth around the world. But since the pandemic began, copper is pulling out as a winner once again, 